Okay, here we have an MEP002A 5, ki <coughs> 5 kilowatt generator with the acoustic sound suppression kit removed and sat off to one side. And um, the problem I had with it was the regulator went bad. At first I wasn't sure what went bad, but the charge regulator went bad. Normally this is what you would normally see there. This is, uh, get the tag right side up. Can you see the tag? Whoop. Almost. So this is what would normally be there, but it was no good. So, I looked it up online. For 150 bucks, I could buy one, but I was just appalled to spend $150 for something so simple and apparently of inferior quality since it seems everybody has problems with them. So I made a home-built one. What we have here is a, uh, a linear voltage regulator, capable of 1.5 amps. Its output drives the base of a power transistor that's, I don't know if you can see it over here, in there, a TO3 package. Okay, the power transistor is capable of 16 amps which is kind of marginal but it's it is heat sink to moderately with all this wind blowing here that heat sink ought to be pretty good okay and uh, of course you got to rectify it first before you can regulate it so I just happen to have this board I didn't make this board this board some junk in my, out of my junk heap it had two uh, full bridge rectifiers on it of which I'm only using the one the other one's just there and um, so I, I brought the um, the wires from the stator over to the AC inputs on the rectifier. Hook the ground input, or output rather, up to ground. And underneath of here, over in the back is the terminal, right back there, where the positive came out. That jumpers over to this heat sink onto the transistor. The um, and by the way, the uh, you'll see a piece of insulator in here. The voltage regulator is insulated from the heat sink and the transistor. And I, I reused the fuse holder that was here before. I never removed it. I just unsoldered the old wires off of it and put my new wires on. And I reused the terminal block and I reused the uh, 50 microfarad capacitor. So the fuse, by the way, I couldn't... I had to read all over to figure out what that fuse was supposed to be. And I... Uh, ended up putting an AGC 15 amp fuse in there. Um, so there you go, $150, and I made it last night and put it in this morning. And it's still early morning, so <laughs> I think for $150, it'll work. It's kind of rinky-dink, but it'll work. I just tested it. It seems to function. I tested last night on the table to make sure it was regulating right, and I just tested it in operation just now for about two minutes. It's about all you can run without the uh, uh, proper crowling on. So uh, it seems to work fine. Heat sink didn't even get warm. I think we're good to go. I'm going to put everything back together. End of video.